So if it wasn't incredibly obvious at this point, I am on a constant search to find the best financial tools for all of our unique financial situations. And as a small business owner myself, that often means looking for the best banking tools for freelancers, small business owners, side hustlers, and all of that good stuff. But one area where a lot of these platforms fall short, in my opinion, is that you often have to have a completely separate business bank account, as I have said a thousand times before. But in today's video, we're going to take a look at a platform that allows you to have all of your personal and business banking under one app, and that would be Lily. So today, let's break down everything that Lily and their new Lily Pro accounts have to offer and break down exactly how this one platform can allow you to not only take hold of your freelancing finances, but your personal finances as well. All right, let's jump right into it. What is going on everyone? I hope you are all having a fantastic day. So I've talked about Lily previously in a video that I did a few months ago about the best business bank accounts, but recently they launched some really great features, including Lily Pro, that really take this platform to the next level. Now, I do wanna let you know that Lily did reach out to me to sponsor this video, but as always, you're going to get the open and honest review that you came here expecting. And I liked Lily a while back before they added some of these new features, so I am really excited to share this even better improved version of this platform with you. And if at any point in today's video, you do wanna give Lily a shot, then be sure to use the first link down in the description below to get $25 when you open your Lily account and spend $250 on your Lily card, either via mobile pay or with your physical card in the first 45 days. So in a nutshell, Lily is banking for freelancers without neglecting or forgetting about your own finances, which I personally absolutely love. Now, just so we're on the same page, they do have the standard free Lily account, as well as the new Lily Pro account option, which is $4.99 per month. But regardless of which account you decide to go with, you're going to have no maintenance fees, transfer fees, minimum balance requirements, or any of that stuff. Plus you get the network of 38,000 free use ATMs where you can withdraw money for completely free. So we'll talk in depth about the difference between the free and pro accounts later on in the video, but I did just wanna clarify right out of the gate that this account is completely free and has none of those horrible traditional banking fees, but you do have the option to upgrade to the pro account for just a few bucks a month, and that's going to give you a ton of additional features that again, we'll talk about in a second. All right, so there are a million different features to go over, but the first one that I really feel sets Lily apart from the competition is that this is truly one checking account for both your business business and your personal finances. And that may not seem like a big deal, but you've all heard me preach a million times before about how it is so important to have a separate business bank account, which is absolutely true. But with Lily, you're able to have everything under one roof and really easily separate your expenses by simply swiping left or right within the app in order to properly categorize those expenses and ensure that you're not forgetting about any of those wonderful tax write-offs. Now, speaking of taxes, we all know that as freelancers, things can get a little bit tricky in that category because as a freelancer, you might get paid $1,000 for something, but you haven't yet paid taxes on that money in most situations. So if you're not proactive and you don't set that money aside, then you'll probably end up getting slapped with a huge tax bill at the end of the year that you might not be able to afford because you didn't properly plan and save. So what Lily is going to do is automatically save a portion of your income to cover all of those relevant taxes. And don't worry if you have absolutely no idea how much you should be setting aside, Lily is going to help you estimate your tax payments. And you can do this by clicking on the work tab within the app and go into the save for taxes automatically option. And from there, it's going to ask you a few very simple questions regarding your 1099 and W2 income, if that applies to you, as well as your expenses. And based on your answers, it's going to give Give you a recommended percentage that you will automatically have set aside for you for your taxes. But remember, this is just a recommendation and you can always set aside more or less based on your financial situation. And like I mentioned earlier, they're also going to help you easily categorize your expenses for both work and life to make sure that you're saving money where you should be on your taxes, but also not writing off your $9 Starbucks purchase that you and I both know probably was not a business expense. So not only are they going to automate your tax Taxes, but they also have an automated savings feature that allows you to regularly set money aside into an emergency bucket, which is probably not a bad idea, not only for
for you personally, but also for your small business or side hustle as well. Okay, I know I get way too excited about saving money on taxes and automated finances, but as far as your more standard banking features are concerned, you can easily deposit checks right from within the app, withdraw cash at over 38,000 free to use ATMs, and you are still able to use off network ATMs, but that is going to cost you $2.50 if you're here in the US and $5 if you are using an ATM outside the US. So just keep that in mind. Plus, you can even deposit cash at over 90,000 retail locations like Rite Aid, CVS, Walmart, and several others as part of the Green Dot system. And I will mention that while Lily does not charge a fee for the service, sometimes the retailers do charge a small fee of a few dollars here and there. So while this is a super convenient feature that I personally love to see Lily adding, again, just keep that in mind if you do take advantage of this tool. Another awesome feature that Lily has that I have not seen from freelance-focused business bank accounts is the ability to get paid up to two days early. We've seen this feature before with standard personal bank accounts, and that makes sense because when you have a consistent W-2 income with a regular job, then it's really easy to estimate how much your paycheck is probably going to be and when that paycheck will arrive, and therefore those banks are easily able to pay you two days early. But this feature has constantly been lacking in the business banking world because freelance income is often sporadic and inconsistent. So basically, the way that this works is if you get paid for your freelancing gigs through direct deposit, or if you use a popular online payment app like Cash App or PayPal, for example, you aren't going to have to wait days for that money to settle in your accounts because again, Lily is going to give you access to that money up to two days early, which is really awesome and could be a huge deal for some freelancers. Okay, so everything that we've talked about up until this point comes with the free and pro versions of Lily. So if you are looking to really easily track your income and expenses, separate all of those things for business and personal finances, and of course, automatically set money aside for your taxes, which is super important as a freelancer, then the free Lily account could be the perfect fit for you. But Lily didn't want to stop there, and I love the fact that they are now offering some higher level features with Lily Pro for a small fee of just $4.99 per month. That being said, I know that a lot of you are really skeptical about those monthly banking fees, so what in the world are you going to get for your five bucks each month? Well, for starters, you get a premium Visa business debit card, and I will clarify that you do get a Visa business debit card with the standard free account, but with the paid account, you're going to earn cash back from participating merchants on both your personal and business expenses. And the best part about this is you don't need to enroll in any categories or activate any point offers or anything like that. You are automatically going to earn cash back rewards on all of those participating retailers automatically. So cash back is cool and all, but with Lily Pro, you're also going to earn a very competitive 1% APY on all of the money in your savings account. And if you do the math, that means that if you had just $6,000 throughout the year in this account, then that 1% APY alone would pay for the roughly $60 per year that Lily Pro is going to cost. Now, I completely understand that not every freelancer is going to have the luxury of having $6,000 just sitting in their bank account throughout the year, but I did think it was interesting that in a sense, Lily Pro will pay for itself if you do keep that larger amount in savings. But the newest feature that comes with Lily Pro that I am really happy to see is up to $200 of no fee overdraft protection through Balance Up. Again, this is one of those features that we've seen many times before on the personal side of banking, but it's just lacking on the business side of the banking industry. But again, a freelancer's income and expenses can be incredibly inconsistent, and thankfully, Lily totally gets that. So if you ever overdraft your account for any reason, they're not only going to not charge you any overdraft fee, but they will even cover the difference up to $200, send you a notification directly to your phone letting you know that you overdrafted, and then once your next paycheck comes into your Lily accounts, they're just going to make up that difference from that paycheck. But wait, there's more. The last major feature that comes with the Lily Pro account that I know I personally will use the most is the ability to create and send an unlimited number of invoices. And again, this can be done really easily right from within the app on your smartphone by clicking the work tab at the bottom of the screen and selecting the new invoice button. 
And from there, you can either enable Lily Direct Pay if the invoice is below $1,000, which allows your client to pay their invoice in a matter of clicks, or you can just send it as is and they can pay you using the standard ACH transfer method. So for just $4.99 per month, you get those cashback benefits on both your personal and business expenses made with your Lily Visa debit card, overdraft protection of up to $200, 1% cashback on all of the money in your savings accounts, and the ability to send an unlimited number of invoices to ensure that you are getting paid on time, every time, without fail. So again, look at your small business and your financial situation to see if those features are worth upgrading to. But one last thing that I will mention is that I know that I have personally paid over $30 every single month for accounting software like QuickBooks, for example, just for the ability to send invoices. So the fact that that is included among all of the other features that you get for just five bucks per month with Lily Pro is kind of a no brainer in my opinion. Now, one thing that I would love to see them add is actually the ability to make your quarterly tax payments from within the Lily app. Because I know that this is another issue that a lot of freelancers oftentimes run into and not being sure how to make those payments or how much to pay. So having the ability to not only set those taxes aside, but actually pay them from within the Lily app would be a really cool feature that I hope that they add. So I've been using Lily Pro for a few weeks now to manage the finances of this YouTube channel. And not only is the banking for freelancers amazing, but I love the fact that I can, again, have my personal and business finances under one app. Because if you know me, you know that I am a huge fan of consolidating my finances as much as possible. So I would love to know what you think of Lily down in the comment section below. And remember, if you do want to give this platform a shot, then be sure to use that first link down in the description below to get $25 when you open your account and spend $250 on your Lily debit card. Thank you so much to Lily for creating such an amazing platform for freelancers and supporting my content. If you did get value out of this content and you want to help support me, then definitely check out Lily using that link down below. And let me know what you think of this platform in the comment section as well. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this in the future. And of course, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it so much. Take it easy and I'll see you in the next one.